What up, Black Hive? Hope you guys enjoyed the wad. That thruster workout was one hell of a burner. I know it really messed me up. Again, we're still in our second week, quarantine chaos. Make sure you're hashtagging Black Hive Home, getting those rise scores in, getting those Wattify scores in. Today, Wednesday, April 8th, 2020, we got a strength skill of one power snatch and two hang squat snatch. We're doing five sets and building every two minutes on the minute. Again, this is something that's gonna build some strength, but we also want to watch our form here, especially on those hang squat snatches, trying to drop under that bar as fast as we can, not really pulling that barbell higher than our sternum. And that power snatch, we're gonna bring it from the ground, get that big pull, full extension, barbell over the head by dropping, keeping that hip crease above the knee, and then two of those hang squat snatches, keeping that barbell above the knee, making sure that we are dropping underneath the bar after that full pull that we have on that last pull. Big shrug, getting under the bar. And then every two minutes on the minute. When you're thinking in terms of the weights, start somewhere moderately loaded where we're maybe 95, pulling over that, trying to build to maybe 80% of your one rep max. Because again, we have three reps in this complex. Moving on to the workout of the day, fun little 15 minute AMRAP, 200 meter run. 10 chest to bar, five hang power cleans, 135 for our men, 95 for our women. This 200 meter run, we wanna make sure we're getting a good run. This should not be more than say about one minute of running. So if we're over one minute of the running, then let's really bring that back in on our length to maybe 150 or 100, and then to our 10 chest to bar pull-ups. Good modifications for our chest to bar pull-ups, regular pull-ups. If you can string together 10 regular pull-ups, that's awesome. If you have rings, we can do ring rows if you have a rig and ring rows. If you don't, you can also do bent over rows with dumbbells. So make sure that you're getting into that good morning position and pulling those thumbs to your ribs or an odd object. Anything we can do to engage those lats and really start to strengthen the, the back. And then right into five hang power cleans. So that's one deadlift, keeping the barbell above the knee, going right into those hang power cleans, hip crease above the knee, making sure that we're not dropping too low, and then back down to the above the knee position, doing that five times. Workout should be pretty fun, looks pretty tough. Looks like after about six or seven minutes, it's gonna be very hard. So think about that weight right there. These five should be unbroken, unquestionably. Unbroken, 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 and then about one minute of running. If you're exceeding that one minute, let's modify that run down a little bit, or even row, depending on how you're feeling. Uh, for our Black Hive Home, we have a modification. I talked a little bit about that in this particular workout. Same thing here, what we're actually prescribing at Black Hive Home, 15 minute AMRAP, 200 meter run. About one minute of running, 10 bent over rows, sandbag. You could use a ruck, you could use dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, you could use jugs of water, anything you want. Anything that will work there to get you engaging those lats. And then five hang power cleans with anything that you have if you don't have a barbell. So anything meaning a sandbag, jugs of water, kettlebell, wall ball, slam ball, anything you can get kind of in that barbell position right there in front of those feet and getting it up to your front rack position. Make sure you're getting those scores in the Black Hive Home Wad if you're doing the Black Hive Home modification or the regular wad. And then if that's not enough for you, we have our Black Hive Bill. Back to the bike, we got 50 cows, 35 box jump overs, 24 for the men, 20 for the women, and then 20 alternating dumbbell hang snatch, 70 pound for the men, 50 for the women. That's gonna be pretty tough, that's super heavy. So we're gonna keep that dumbbell right at our hang position through those reps, swapping hands each time. Modifications for this three rounds, 50 cal bike, jump on a bike, hit around the block. I'd say 50 cal is probably gonna take somewhere between two and four minutes. So maybe you hit a three minute bike, just like yesterday at the Black Hot Built, and then come in, get your box jump overs. If you have a stump, if you have some weights you can stack up. If you can jump on the tailgate of your truck, whatever it is that you can find and jump on somewhere right around 24 inches, that's awesome, just jump on it, and then jump off if you can't jump over it. Or if you have something you can just jump over, jump over it. And then 20 alternating dumbbell hang snatches. Same thing, if you don't have 70 pound dumbbells, that's fine. We can use uh, a lighter sandbag, we can use jugs of water, kettlebell, anything you can get right there that's gonna be able to bring that down and put it right back over that head. Hell, you could use a rock if you want to. Just something to move those, those, uh, those arms from the hang position to the overhead position. 
This one looks super fun. I can't wait to get my score on the board. Can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to see you guys in the gym. We miss you.